Welcome to Fast Training Week. So Dr. Mindy here, and all this week I am bringing you the science of fasting and which fasts will make you happier. So be sure that you're watching each day. This goes together as a series. And if you need more support as you go through this process, join us in our free Resetter Collaborative. We have an, over 30,000 people over there co uh, collaborating together, cheering each other on. And if you need more guidance this week, join me in my academy where we have our reset guides. Myself, we're all overseeing you as you go through this experience together. We love fasting, we love the science behind fasting, and if you are new to my channel, welcome, subscribe, stay tuned for an incredible fasting ride, and as always, if you love this information, share it out into the world, get your friends and families fasting with you this week, nothing will raise your happiness level like resetting these pathways, getting your neurotransmitters working for you, and dipping into the miracle that you were born to be. Enjoy. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, day four of Fast Training Week. So on this day, we are gonna work on a neurotransmitter called GABA. GABA calms your brain. So if you've been following me along Fast Training Week, you have did a fast yesterday, just a water fast. There was no food involved. So you're waking up this morning. I, want, I would encourage you to make sure that you're looking at your blood sugar and ketone reader. I like Keto Mojo. We'll put a link for that in, in the um, notes. So you should be getting max ketone production. Let me talk a little bit about what ketones do for your brain. There are several pieces that are really interesting. So like I mentioned yesterday, when we get the presence of ketones, we wanna see it on your reader over 0.5. When we see the presence of ketones, what it signals is that the body is now burning energy from fat. So you have moved away from being a sugar burner and you're over here being a fat burner now. The more those ketones go up, the longer you're in a state of ketosis, what happens to the brain? Because that's the purpose of this fast training week. We wanna really change the brain. What happens is ketones go up into the brain and they start to create repair in the brain. So remember, go back to the first video I did on Monday on autophagy. We wanna repair these neurons that have been degenerated from toxins and poor modern living. So ketones are one way of repairing those. But ketones do another thing for the brain. You have two, two chemicals that affect your brain dramatically. One is called glutamate, and glutamate makes your brain excitatory. I think we got a lot of glutamate going on in the world right now. GABA calms the brain down. Now they work inversely. So if glutamate goes up and you have excitatory response, GABA goes down. And when GABA goes up and you have a calming brain, then glutamate goes down. So what's happening today as you're in this 48 hour water fast, you're moving this water fast along to the second day, is that your ketones are going up and as they go up, it signals to your brain to instead of making glutamate, to make GABA. So it changes the, the neurochemicals that your brain will prefer. The longer you're in a state of ketosis, the more GABA you will make. How cool is that? Now, any of us who've been in these longer fasts, you guys know that the longer you go into a fast, the calmer your brain will become. And it's almost like if you've ever been in a three to five day water fast, it's like by the fifth day, you just don't even wanna talk. The brain is so zoned out. So I want you to look at that meter today and I want you to focus on those ketones because ketones equals a calm brain. Now I wanna put point something else out for today. So you are going to break your fast tonight. And I really encourage you to break your fast with a ketobiotic meal. And ketobiotic, go back and watch the other videos that I did, but a ketobiotic meal is keeping your net carbs under 50 grams. And I really encourage you to make your carbs come from vegetables. If you wanna do some low glycemic fruits like berries, that's fine. 
I also want you to keep your protein under 50 grams, and I want you to eat over 60% of your food as fat. So lots of avocados, lots of nut butters, um, lots of the seed oils. We're a fan of Andrea's seed oils. If We'll put a link for that if you haven't experienced seed oils. But I, when you go to break your fast tonight, I want you to break it with a ketobiotic meal. Tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to make serotonin. I'm gonna show you how to make uh, more, uh, get your, your bacteria in your gut really working for you. I'm gonna show you some ways that we break these longer fasts. But the key point today is that the more you get into ketosis, the calmer your brain will feel. It, for you guys in the beginner fast, it might not feel like that right now, but what you'll see over time is that it will create a calmer brain. And for those of you who have been doing this for a while, please put in the notes, let me know how you're doing. Um, have you noticed a calmer brain? Because that's the whole, the, this whole week is about making your brain work for you. And then for the water fasters, again, think about how you wanna break your fast. Make sure you go and watch my video on fasting. If this is your fourth day of water fast, you need to really be mindful of how you fast or how you break that fast. So GABA, let's grab some. I will put the studies on ketones and GABA in the notes so you can go find that. Otherwise, let me know how you're doing. Put, the, put it in the notes, put it in the comments. Um, I'm cheering you on. <laughs>